Hey all you people, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Thursday Thursdays. I am your host, Not So Handy Car Guy, and we are gonna be going through the five top cars that I wish I could build if I had the means to. First, since it's the spooky month out of the year, we are continuing our drinking of Shipyard, Shipyard's pumpkin head. Ugh. And then I have a special surprise craft beer I wanna show you guys after the next couple pumpkin heads. First on my little meta, meta, first on my little meta, metaphorical list is the 2011 Ford Mustang GT. In all honesty, I would try and buy my car back. I'd track that person, that mother, down who bought my freaking Mustang. I'd buy it back from them, rebuild the engine, whatever it needed done, and then I would do some friggin' turbo mods in that thing. Maybe, actually, I'd probably do a supercharger. But, and then I lowered a couple inches and then I'd put like a e-brake thing and then I'd like, oh my God. I'd love to learn how to drift, so that'd be a, an, an awesome drift car if I could put a supercharger on there. That would just rip, rip right around the track. It'd rip the track. It would rip the track now when I start making money on YouTube. All right, so second on my list now is the 2019 Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Come here, you little pumpkin head. Come on up. Hey, Sadie. The mic's probably really muffled right now, but it's okay, because I know you. Okay, oh, that was my camera bag. Whew. Ooh, that just squirted everywhere. Squirt! So second up on my list is the 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. But is is my version intended for the track? It depends what track you're talking about. If you're talking about the Baja 5000, then you might be right. Because my Trackhawk has a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 engine that, that I think puts out what the original Hellcat did, what, 707 horsepower? So the, like all wheel drive, this thing is almost as quick as a Tesla P100D. <laughs> Ludicrous. Fox or Bill Stein shocks. I, it, I basically trick this thing out for desert running. I'm gonna go with 17 inch wheels and uh, these big, uh, I think it has KO2s for tires. Watch this video clip here. I'm gonna put the sound of a Trackhawk over a lifted Grand Cherokee and just like, it's match made in heaven. I'm actually gonna show you guys a depiction of what I think this will look like because it's totally become, totally gonna become a reality. So many of you know I went to school for film. Um, I also took some art classes, kind of sloping back like that. Okay, it's got a little bit of shading here, a little contour. All right, so here's my depiction of it, personally. You might be wondering, what is that thing on top? Well, this is um, a machine gun. B BFG KO2s, plenty of tread on those. Obviously, this is me because of the nose here, uh, the long flowing hair. Uh, that's what my car is gonna look like. That's what my, that's what my, I'm gonna call it a, um, I'm gonna call it a trail hawk. Wait, how about a desert hawk? AKA a vulture. The Jeep freaking vulture. Hey, come, come join, come here. I smell really bad. Hi, they're not your friends, they're my friends. Get out of here. Okay, so I don't know, a couple, maybe one or two of you might know that I'm working on a, um, ooh, I'm working on a TV show called Classic Drive TV. My boss, Dirk, just got back from the Peking to Paris rally, which is this famous rally from China all the way to Paris, France. French. French? 9,000 miles, almost 9,000 miles. <laughs> So I had like a dream, like a crazy dream that uh, I'd take like a Ford Raptor camera car over there and kind of follow them throughout the, the 9,000 mile rally and get some sick stabilized jib shots and some drone shots. Give this video a like if you think that's a good idea um, and give it a thumbs down if you don't. Ideally, I would love the, um, the 6.2 V8, great engine. It's got the big kahunas, you know. So maybe the 6.2 is a better idea because I'm not sure there's like, I'm not sure that there's 93 octane or even 91 octane over there in some part. So we're gonna go with a 2014 Ford Raptor. Got the jib on the back. So Nick, if you see this video, let's make it happen, man. You, you might think that this drawing- Look at the flowers! 
Those aren't flowers. Those are BFG Goodrich KO2. You might think that this is you because of the flowing hair and chiseled jawline, mm -hmm. uh, but it's actually me. You can tell by the nose and the flowing hair and chiseled jawline. Ah, uh, bad ass. All right, all right, fourth on the list. We're getting close to the end here, guys. I've always wanted to do some sort of like overlanding rig, Toyota, like a Land Cruiser or something like that. So I'm gonna say these, these trucks are reliable. They're powerful, 381 horsepower. This uh, has a short wheelbase, awesome approach and departure angles. I'd put bulletproof glass in there and I'd do these crazy Kevlar fricking tires. Yeah, this thing would friggin' rock. Not very fuel efficient. It'd probably get about nine miles a gallon. Fine on the highway. Let me draw a picture and I'll show you what this is gonna look like. It's actually gonna be better than the last one, I promise. Yeah, so this is it here. Samantha on top of the machine gun. And then we have a, a friggin' blower here. And then we also have some side dump exhaust here running super freaking rich ratio. So it's gonna just be throwing flames all the way through the Mojave friggin' desert. And of course we got the flowers here. I think before the fifth car, it's time to open the mystery beer. This is a craft beer. I can give Sam one guess. What do you think this beer is? Bad Martha. Martha? No, it's not. So this is a very local craft beer. So here we have a um, Bud Weezer. <clears throat> okay. Finally, this is my all time man crush of a freaking vehicle here. We're talking about idyllic fiction becomes reality. We're talking go camping in my backyard plus some. We're talking, get ready for this, a 30 something foot Prevost RV. Not just any RV, this thing is gonna have zebra stripe, but like cheetah camo pattern on the side, so it's gonna blend in with everything. It's also gonna have the ability to float them water and stuff like that. It's gonna be two floors and we can sleep in like the bottom, like when we have kids and stuff, or they can sleep in the bottom bunks, uh, like, and, you know, and then on the top, it. This is a wild foreign brace vehicle. What do they call it? The convoy or the convy? Con? This is one of those vehicles that like I've always wished was real. Can you imagine? I'd love to make that a reality one day where we just That'd like. That's so cool. Yeah, have a monkey and shit and then just travel around in this RV. And I go, smashing Marianne. It's a dugong. <laughs> Mount Kilimanjaro, majestic. Yeah, we have the same nose. All right, so that's my top five. Please let me know below what you think. Um, your what? Let me know below what your top five would be and what mods you'd have. Go crazy, go friggin' crazy. Um, do not, do not subscribe to me. I'm not looking for subscribers. I'm, I'm, I hate subs. Yeah, don't subscribe to me. Oh, an honorable mention. Let's let's have an honorable mention. What I think I'd do is I'd probably take like a Tesla, Tesla. Elon Musk, learn how to pronounce an S. It's not a Z. He, he doesn't call it the Model Z. It's the Model S. It's Tesla, not Tesla. I'd probably take a Model 3 or a Model S. And I'd swap it out probably with like a Hellcat Red Eye drivetrain. Close to 800 horsepower. The P100D Ludacris is equivalent of like around 700 horsepower, I wanna say. A car that's just as fast or faster than a stock P100, but it would just sound like a bat out of hell, wait, no, a cat out of hell, probably with a red, just one red eye.